Right. So, uh, starting starting in uh, in Revelation, if we were, were to read about the different uh, the different tribes, I, I've got the names of the tribes rather than go through all the reading and all of that. I'm right. just going to go through the names of the tribes, and I'm going to explain the plan that God had for us. Now, the first the first tribe's name in Revelation seven was Judah. Okay. Uh, Alexander, do you know what that means? Yeah, yes, Pastor. Uh, Judah means one who praises the Lord. Right. Yeah, yeah. Glorious praise. Right. Now, the scripture says, I enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. How do I get into the presence of God? Through praise. Yeah, exactly. Right? Right. When I get into the presence of God with praise, right. then something transforms. <laughs> yep. The next name is Reuben. Reuben means behold the sun right. or worship. So I start off in praise. I enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I get into that praise and what am I doing? I'm just thanking him for all the wonderful things he does, right? right. But when right. I get into worship, it transforms from what he's done to who he is. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, when I get into worship, the next, the next name is uh, is uh, as, uh, is Gad, and it means a great, great company of people. When I get into worship, guess what? The whole heavenly host is there. Mm -hmm. So there's a commingling of me and the heavenly host. What? We become one with the Father. Paul says, I'm seated together in heavenly places mm -hmm. with Christ Jesus. So as I worship and as I praise, guess what? Heaven and earth come together. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Once heaven and earth come together, then the next thing that happens is we see that in, in, uh, in uh, 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 Aser, it says, Aser means the joy of the Lord or the fulfillment of that joy. So I enter into God's presence with thanksgiving and into his courts of praise. I go into worship. There's a heavenly joining together. Heaven and earth comes together. As I'm in his presence, guess what? The joy of the Lord starts to fulfill me. Right? Right? right the I happiness, to, yeah. No, well, it's not happiness because yeah. happiness hap uh, Joy's the opposite of is, fear. Is, is, is dependent upon happenstance. Joy is there no matter what the circumstance is. Yeah, joy is almost like the opposite of fear. It's not necessarily tied to a specific idea of something future, or so it's it's almost just like a state. It's the opposite of fear. It, it's it's a place of contentment. Contentment and comfort. And right. the joy is my strength. I cannot overcome without the joy of the Lord. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, if if we if we are walking in the joy of the Lord, then the very next uh, the the very next uh, 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 name is uh, Naphtalim or Naphtali. Yeah, and that means the power to overcome. <laughs> so what do I do? I start with what praise and worship. Mm -hmm. Praise and worship brings me into the presence of God. I get into the presence of God. I get the joy of the Lord. When I get the joy of the Lord, what happens? I have the power to overcome. Why is the world struggling? Why are people struggling in the church? Because they have not come into the presence of God. Reading the Word and studying to show ourselves is wonderful, but that doesn't necessarily just bring us into worship and into praise. Right. It is where we literally take our spirit man, our soul man, and we start praising God and start thanking Him and come into that place of worship. When we come into that place of worship, then it is spirit by spirit, God's spirit and our spirit commingling together. You fuse into a new being. That's right. Uh, it, is, it, is, <clears throat> it is an intercourse. Mm -hmm. The wrestling uh, that uh, Jacob uh, had to endure. Well, Job. Uh, 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 not Job, but... Uh, 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 Who's yeah, the one that Jacob, you know, when he wrestled uh, in Genesis uh, 32, he wrestled uh, with the angel of the Lord, and he asked him his name two times, and he said, well, my name is Israel. And finally he came to the understanding that his name Israel really is that spiritual overcoming, you know? That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Israel, it means to struggle to overcome. Right. I was thinking <laughs> of uh, the, the first one that was translated uh uh, in Genesis, what, what was his name? My mind's not thinking here. 
<laughs> uh, anyhow, the, the, the way that he was translated is the Bible says that he had intercourse with God. He, was, he, had, he had become so much, had spent so much time with the presence of God that he was filled with the life of God so strongly that he could not be taken by death. Yeah, you're talking about Enoch. 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 Yeah. Enoch walked with God. That yeah. word walked with God under the, <clears throat> under the old Eastern colloquialism is that he had intercourse with God. Mm-hmm. And he was so filled with the life of God that he could not be taken through death. Mm-hmm. I believe that's that's going to be a part of what's going to happen in the. There's going to be like a transformation, uh, a physical transformation into another. Uh, that's sphere. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Amen. That the Bible says he says the Bible says he says I'm coming back for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. When he comes back, he's coming back to a church that is so filled with the life of God that they cannot be taken through death. Wow. How's yeah, that? that's what yeah. we've been seeing. That there's going to be a huge transformation. I mean, a of, transformation. Of that so how are yeah. we doing on those points? Do we have any uh, major ones left? Oh yeah, yeah. We got we got we some more. Fa- three four minutes. We got three four minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Once we come into the power to overcome, then we have uh, the next one is Manassas is forgive the sins of others. See, once we've overcome, we're not going to blame anybody else for for, for their sins. We recognize, and we're going to be able to forgive. Once we are able to forgive, then the next one is Simeon, which means to hear spiritual truth. Mm-hmm. We've got the power to overcome. We've got the joy of the Lord. We're forgiving the sins of others. Now we can really hear the truth. Once we hear the truth, then that truth is attached to us. The next one is, is Levi, is to attach. The word becomes flesh and dwells uh-huh. among us, right? Right. And then once we realize that, then we come into the next one, which is Issachar. It means the price has been paid. We recognize that it's not anything that we've done. It's all God. You're right. No, you're not graded on the curve. Right. And then we become the next place, Zebulon, the dwelling place of God. Uh-huh. Where he dwells. It's then, your heart, the Holy of Holies. That's right. Then we go into Joseph. And Joseph means, let them add. See, we're trying to add people into the kingdom of God, but we're not like him. We're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not showing people. Paul said, I don't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but I come to you in the demonstration of the power of the Son of God. <clears throat> when we become like him, we're going to have the power of God, and it's going to demonstrate his words with signs and wonders following. Right. And then... When we start to see him add, then we come into a growth place where we come into Benjamin, which is the son of my right hand, which is the mature sons of God right. that are walking the way God intended. Yeah, Benjamin means to Benjamin, which means to build up the kingdom. To build up the kingdom. Yeah. So we go from, where do we start? It all starts in praise and worship. Out of praise and worship, these other things grow in us right. until we become a mature son. Yeah, amazing. Great program. Pastor Dave Lee will be back regularly, and uh, Alexander will be back on this coming Thursday. You don't want to miss it. Amazing program. Thank you for your support during the year, and may God bless you and keep you, and may he give you the joy, no matter what your Christmas was, that this Christmas will be the best ever when you submit to the Most High God. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow with another great show.